Hello everyone, myself Keshav Kumar Agarwal. In this project, I am going to demonstrate on the project Why Alarm System. For this project, I have used Tinkercad for simulating the project and this is the circuit diagram of the project. I have used a gas sensor, three different LEDs of different colors for different values of gases and a buzzer. A gas sensor is a device that detects the presence of gases in an area. It has six pins. This is B1, H2 and B2. All three are connected to the power supply or the plus 5 volt. This is A1. It is connected to the analog input A0 and it collects the gas value from the environment. This is H1. It is connected to the ground and this is A2 which is connected to the ground through a register of 1 kilo ohm. I have used the register of 1 kilo ohm to increase the accuracy and sensitivity of gas sensor. Now, this is the code for the circuit. I have defined buzzer pin as 4, LED 1 that is blue LED at pin number 7, green LED that is LED 2 at pin number 6 and red LED that is LED 3 at pin number 5 and gas input at analog input A0. In white setup section, I have made LED 1, LED 2, LED 3 and buzzer as an output pin and I start the baud rate at 9600. In the void loop section, I have first declared a gas value variable of integer type and assign the values uh, sensed by the ga gas sensor in it. After that, this is a ternary operator. I have applied three conditions of using ternary operator. This statement says that when the gas value is greater than or equal to 90, when the gas value is greater than or equal to 90, then the LED1 will glow. If it is false, then LED will be off. Similarly, when the gas value is greater than 150, then the LED2, that is green LED, will turn on, otherwise it will be off or low. Similarly, for the red LED or the LED3, when the gas value is greater than 225, then the LED will be on, otherwise it will be off. After that, for the buzzer, I have used a tone function in which the input is buzzer and this is frequency. I have assigned the value 1000 as the frequency. You can use any value of frequency and it will sound differently. This is a time duration for which the buzzer will be on. This condition will be true only when the gas value is greater than 225. As the value is greater than 225, then this shows that this is a hazardous condition or a dangerous condition. In that case, both all the LEDs will glow simultaneously. The buzzer will also be glowed and it will indicate the danger sign. Typically, the value of a gas sensor ranges between 0 to 400. So, I have assigned the value 225 as the uh, threshold value. I am also printing the same value in the serial monitor. That's all about the code. Now, I am going to simulate the project. You can see, now the gas value is 85. So, it is below 90. Since it is below 90, so this statement is false. So, none of the LED has grown. When I take this closer to the gas sensor, the gas value increases. You can see, as the value passes 90, or it becomes greater than 90, then the blue LED has grown. You can see that. Similarly, on further taking it to closer to the gas sensor, value gas value increases, and as it crosses 150, green LED has also grown. On further taking it closer to the gas sensor, it means high gas zone or high smoke zone. As it crosses a 225 value or threshold 225 value you can see the all the leds has cloned and the buzzer also start it, it indicates the danger zone that the smoke level has surpassed a threshold value that's how the fire alarm system work and this project is working fine that's all from this project Thank you.